Hi everyone, Kelt here. Just want to wish you all a happy new year. Just want to wish you all a happy new year. What a year it's been, with the Oprah interview where Harry and Meghan showed their true colours. In fact, in 2021, we saw the worst of the Sussexes and the best of the Cambridges. We also saw Andrew hiding and avoiding questioning. The Princess Diana statue unveiling showed the tension between the two brothers, and Prince Philip's funeral did the same. The highlight for me of the year was the James Bond premiere and Catherine's dress, also her piano debut at the carol concert at Christmas. What were the highlights for you? The best and the worst of 2021 regarding the royal family. I think the worst was Meghan squatting and drinking from a baby's bottle on the Ellen show and lying in the Oprah interview. And now it seems that Ghislaine Maxwell is talking and Prince Andrew is sweating. Well, he should be. I think Prince Andrew's story is a bit of a non-event. He's definitely a small fish compared to the others that these women should be naming. In fact, Ghislaine is talking that much now that Prince Andrew is being asked to provide medical evidence which would show that he cannot sweat. She is supposed to be singing like a canary, but many are believing that Andrew is not the subject of her disclosures, that he was just a way for them to really get in with the royal family and into the royal properties. That connection would open doors elsewhere with other big names or foreign dignitaries. Probably gave... Ghislaine and Kevin Spacey a real kick to have their photos taken on the thrones. Richard Eden now says that he is genuinely worried that Prince Harry and Meghan's criticism of a named racist royal has increased the dangers of attacks on the royal family, and he says that security needs to be stepped up as a result. He's saying that Harry and Meghan only care about themselves, not the result of the repercussions of the careless things that they say. Although the intruder at Windsor Castle has been arrested and probably had different reasons for wanting to eliminate the Queen, the intruder said that it was in retaliation for the Amritsar Sikh massacre. Richard Eden and others are suggesting that these sort of potential dangers toward the royals are caused by Meghan's frequent accusations about the way the royals treated her due to her mixed heritage. Now I'm reading that there are demands for Kate to be the next queen and that Camilla is snubbed despite her new title. Camilla has been awarded the highest possible honour by the queen. She made her a royal lady of the most noble order of the garter. It's the UK's most prestigious order of chivalry and that was a big thing for Camilla to receive this. But despite this, so many are demanding that Catherine be made queen. Interesting start to the year. What do you think? Let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe, ding my bell for more alerts for more videos, like if you liked it and share. Bye.